What up, fellas? Going to get right into this video. No foreplay involved. Some Commander Masters. I know I haven't made a video in a while, and I know it's been a lot of Pokemon, but I said to myself, I can only do one TCG, and which one am I going to commit to? And of course, it's it's just got to be Magic Gathering. I'm sorry, everyone that has subscribed to my channel. Got three on the left side there for Pokemon, but I still have a lot of Pokemon products, and uh, I still enjoy opening it, but I'm going to put it on hold for the time being, and I'm going to put it on hold playing it for the time being, and we're going to do mostly Magic the Gathering on the channel. When I do have time, I've just been incredibly busy. going to do two collector booster boxes. I got a fan fantastic deal on these babies on TCG player a few weeks ago and I'm going to open up uh, eight packs in this video up close and personal and uh, let's see what we can get so we got pack number one go through the commons and uncommons steadily and then we'll get into our beautiful lands here put that off on the side then we get into our borderless commons and uncommons to non-foil then our foil generous gift into our first rare and it's funny that we get this one too because of the fade dominion deck that's coming out with uh wilds of el terrain and uh i'll actually be sliding this into that one and I'm trying not to get my grubby fingers on the rares here. Scythe Claw for our first etch foil. And the Ghoulish Impetus for the Commander Borderless. Taste of Karlov for our beautiful portrait showcase. And <laughs> what a beautiful foil. Bell Fire Dragon. Wow. What a gorgeous pull. So uh, I'll put that off uh, to the side right there. Of course, we got the token city's blessing in the back right there. Very, very nice. There's not going to be uh, much room to display the hits here. So I'll kind of put them off to the top there. We got the Bellfire Dragon. I'll put the notable hits there. And uh, we'll just keep going. It's going to be a shorter video today. Uh, I was thinking about doing three boxes because I... Ended up ordering a half a case, which a case of Commander Masters, uh, surprisingly enough, is actually 24 boxes, and I don't have that kind of money. So I ended up ordering a half a case for about $150 a box. So we're going to see if we can make our money back, considering what these rares and mythics are worth. And uh, we got some uncommons and commons here, especially in the borderless frame, in that of the Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, and the Command Tower foil. So we're going to see if we can get uh, somewhat of our money back, and the money's only going to be, uh, you know, the price of the cards are going to be going up over time because these cards are absolutely fantastic. I just think the price point on this product during release was not so good flawless maneuver for our first banger of an etch foil right there we have undo spirit dancer spell seeker i actually have not seen spell seeker for quite some time and i've opened a lot of these boxes so that's really nice to hit that in the borderless and there's our feel bad borderless <laughs> uh, foil at, at the end there in the regal behemoth so I'll put that up there, and I'll put our Spell Seeker right here, and uh, I'll put these up there, just to uh, be a little, little organized here. So that third box that I'm going to be opening up, I'm going to be actually making some shorts of it. Uh, people seem to enjoy the shorts. Uh, they are exactly how they sound, they're short and sweet. You know, you see the hits. There's no bullshit involved, and uh, it's normally less than a minute. So that will be the 12 packs, uh, which you typically would get in a collector box nowadays. We're going back to a standard set, being that in the Wilds of Eldrin coming out on September 8th, 
I believe, pre-release weekend is this weekend. Our first rare, Rafik of the Many. And let's see what we can get in the next one. It is a rare. Missouri's Predation, okay. Not bad on my Chatterfang deck, so I'll probably really place it with this one. And then we have a rare for our Foil Commander. We have Guff Rewrites History. Then we have a rare Fierce Guardianship. All right, let me take a seat right here. Take a look at this one, man. This is gorgeous. I really, really like the free uh, instant spells cycles. Uh, the old arts are just absolutely gorgeous. The uh, gorgeous. <laughs> I try to say gorgeous and borderless in the same word. Um, I'm very exhausted. My bad. Uh, the uh, frame break is what they're called. Is really nice, and we get a beautiful Azusa in the borderless portrait right there in the back nice so i'll put this over here nice right up in front there so we have two beautiful frame breaks that the bellfire dragon and the fierce guardian ship first box uh we got three great hits out of three packs in a row but the rest of the hits were okay minus that maybe of the um flawless maneuver etched foil I uh, don't think we'll be making our money back on this, and that's what can happen with these boxes, and that's what, uh, you know, people are complaining about. Now, I got these for probably $100 less, and there's the Soul Ring. That is gorgeous. This is going for a few dollars in and itself. Um, the price point of these cards, well, the boxes, uh, was ridiculous when it first came out, and you just weren't making... Uh, back what you were pulling out of these boxes and sometimes even at a price point of $150 which is the lowest I've seen you're still not getting back uh, your money out of some of the boxes so of course buying singles would be the smartest and the funny thing is normally you'd be excited to see this Urza in etched foil it looks gorgeous especially that um, old border time shifted foil in Modern Horizons 1 it's absolutely gorgeous. And we get another guff, which is kind of weird. You don't really see that all too often. Um, Champion's Helm, pretty nice. What do we got in the back here? We have a rare and we have a treasure nabber. All right, so not the best box number one. Hopefully box number two can uh, live up to this product's name, I guess, in Commander Masters. Um, not very masterly of that box. Um, definitely was not commanding its price point. <laughs> All right, dad jokes aside, let's get into box number two. Four packs, Elvish Mystic looking nice right there in the foil. And uh, these cards are nice. They're not very curled as of yet. Of course, uh, if they stay in storage for a little bit longer, they probably will be. Dark Steel Mutation, Frantic Search, Kadama's Reach. And our first rare is Tasa Karlov yet again, but not in the uh, portrait, just in the regular order. Song of the Triads, gorgeous etch foil. I really like this. Great card, probably about 10 bucks if I had to guess. Uh, Skittering Cicada, eh, not bad. I'm actually going to try this out in an Azusa deck that I am currently building. Deadly Rollick, all right. So uh, she definitely wants to make her presence known with her frame break, man. <laughs> that is a that is a pretty sick art pretty nice um so we got um all of the free spells uh minus the um oh man i forget what the green one's called something haze all right so we have a more fun balance in the back here this is uh not textured of course because you can see the number isn't in the 1000s but pretty cool. I like this card. I think it looks really nice. Uh, people were complaining about those cards, of course, because if there's something to complain about, it will be complained about. Um, but uh, I think, uh, you know, other than the price point of this product, um, I don't think that is necessarily something that should be complained about. <laughs> there's always gonna be a new art style or you know, quote unquote showcase every set. They're gonna try something new. You got the anime confetti foils and Wilds of Eldraine, which is pretty cool. All right, so 
get into pack number two of box numero dos return to dust nice frantic search our first rare imps mischief in pack number two box number two Oh man, I'm just going right into the next one. So we have a Mythic and then a Rare after this, of course. So McKay's, which is a beautiful etched foil. So not gonna complain about this. This is really nice. I think that's a nice hit. Calamity of the Titans, wow. This is a, a pretty, pretty good sorcery spell right there. Put that in the Eldrazi deck. I'm thinking about putting it in Azusa as well. Tooth and Nail, I like the original art uh, more than this one. But still a pretty good card. Another Azusa card for myself. And <laughs> Grenzo in the Showcase Portrait Foil right there. Thank God that uh, that wasn't textured. I, I, I don't want to pull that for my texture out of any of these boxes. So I'm going to pull a textured ball. You know, you're not really guaranteed a textured out of any box. But uh, they seem to be a little easier this time around than they were in Double Masters 2022. And I did get uh, a few of those. All right, pack number three. And uh, go through the commons, uncommons. I love these lands. I put these uh, mountains actually into Neheb, which I pulled. Here's my first texture foil that I pulled out of the Commander Masters set in Xanguini. Beautiful uncommon. And Wayward Swordtooth. Is going to be our first rare next one i gotta stop doing that is going to be a rare Ooh, sapphire medallion now that's a hit that's really nice okay and uh, our next hit is going to be another rare it's going to be uh descendants fury put that right there for our commander hit next one's going to be a rare looks like a green border and obscuring haze okay so we ended up getting all of the free spells so right there uh, I can correct myself because we ended up pulling it, a rare in the back, red border, deflecting swat. Wow, we get two of the free spells in there. That's quite a pack. So we ended up getting the Sapphire Medallion, Obscuring Haze, and Deflecting Swat in that one pack. And this is our last pack of the video, last pack of box number two. And uh, if we can get like a Lotus um, or a textured foil out of this, man, this will be quite the box getting the deadly relic deflecting squad obscuring haze sapphire medallion that's pretty that's pretty good so far all right the correct factor fiction with joyra on it our first common will be dread return will be two dread return to a tatiova in the back right there all right so let's see let's go a little slower here we got a rare and it's going to be obnix planeswalker for our first rare, we have another rare, and we have Days Undoing for our etched. We have another rare, Guff. Wow, we are getting so many Guffs. Jeez, I've never seen so many people get uh, this many Guffs in just out of two boxes, three so far. We get a rare for our Borderless. Okay, so we got another Azusa. Any luck in the back? We have another rare. And we have Orin Frostfang. So not bad. I, you know, it's a pretty good product. I can't really uh, complain um, for the price point in which I bought it at. I still don't think these were too, you know, banger or, or knock it out of the ballpark boxes. But you do have to realize that you're paying for the, the, the texture foil premium and the Lotus premium. In which you could potentially get those in any box there's no guarantee so um if you're not going to be getting them you probably will end up being shafted but you're still getting a plethora of really nice and playable at that cards out of these packs and cards that still have values all the way up from you know five to ten dollars and you're able to maybe trade them to someone else or trade them in or sell them so that you can buy the singles that you do want anyway I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, maybe I'll be back for a little bit longer. I'm probably going to be opening up some Wilds of Eldraine. And uh, maybe a set box off Commander Masters. I've been seeing some people have luck with those. Anyway, take care. Goodbye. Enjoy magic with your boys and, uh, and, and girls. Bye.